While Tecumseh lived along the White River, Native Americans in the region were troubled by sickness, alcoholism, and poverty. The loss of land, depopulation, and the decline of their traditional ways of life. Several religious prophets emerged, each offering explanations and remedies for the crisis. Among these was Tecumseh's younger brother, Lala Wichita, a healer in Tecumseh's village. Until this time, Lala Wichita had been regarded as a misfit with little promise. In 1805, he began preaching, drawing upon ideas espoused by earlier prophets, particularly the Delaware prophet Nyalan. Liwatika urged listeners to reject European influence. Stop drinking alcohol and discard the traditional medicine bags. Tecumseh followed his brother's teachings by eating only native food, wearing traditional Shawnee clothing, and not drinking alcohol. In 1806, Tecumseh and Lafiqua had known as the Shawnee prophet established new town near the ruins of Fort Greenville in Ohio. Where the 1795 Treaty of Greenville had been signed, the prophet's message spread widely, attracting visitors and converts from multiple tribes. The brothers hoped to reunite the scattered Shawnee at Greenville, but they were opposed by Blackfoot, a Makashi chief regarded by Americans as a principal chief of the Shawnee. Black Hawk and other leaders around Shawnee town of Wakampadena urged Shawnees to accommodate the United States by adopting some American customs. With the goal of creating a Shawnee homeland with these secure borders in northern Ohio, the Prophet's movement represented a challenge to the Shawnee's chief, who sat on the tribal council at Wapakoneta. Most Ohio Shawnee followed Blackfoot, Black Hook's path and rejected the Prophet's movement. Important converts who joined the movement at Greenville were Blue Jacket, the famed Shawnee war leader, and Roundhead, who became Tecumseh's close friend and his ally. American settlers grew uneasy as Indians flocked to Greenville. In 1806 and 1807, Tecumseh and Blue Jacket traveled to Chillicothe, the capital of the new U.S. state of Ohio, to reassure the governor that Greenville posted no threat. Rumors of war between the United States and Great Britain followed the Chesapeake incident, June of 1807. To escape the rising tensions, Tecumseh and the prophet decided to move west to a more secure location. Rather, th rather from, farther from American forts and closer to potential Western Indian allies. In 1808, Tecumseh and the Prophet established a village Americans would call Prophetstown, north of present-day La Follette, Indiana. The Prophet adopted a new name, Tinshikawa, to open door, mean, meaning he was the door in which all followers could reach salvation. Like Greenville, Prophetstown attracted numerous scholars, compromising Shawnees. Potawatomis, Kickapoos, Winnebacks, South, Ottawas, and Wandas, and Iowas, an unprecedented variety of native living together. Perhaps 6,000 people settled in the area, making it larger than any American city in the region at that time. Joyner argued that Prophetstown was effectively an independent city-state. At Prophetstown, Tecumseh and Tiskawana initially worked to maintain a peaceful coexistence with the United States, a major turning point that came in September of 1808 when William Henry Harrison, governor of Indiana Territory, negotiated the Treaty of Fort Wayne, purchasing 2.5 to 3 million acres of land in what is present-day Indiana and Illinois. Although many Indian leaders signed the treaty, others who used the land were deliberately excluded from negotiations. The treaty created widespread outrage amongst Indians, and, according to historian John Sugyon, 
put your comfort on the road to rule with the United States.